Hi, I'm Dom Kane, and today I'm going to take a look at Cable Guy's Curve for PluginBoutique.com. It's a synth and waveform editor in one uh, for creating all sorts of custom sound sets for producers. So let's take a look and I'll show you what it can do. Before I go into the layout of Curve, uh, it's worth mentioning that there's a really clever library system for the presets which allows you to share presets online with other users. By clicking on the library button here, you're presented with a full bank of over 3000 presets which you can tag and rate for easy access later and even search for sounds on the right hand side over here. But there's also a sync button up here which allows you to actually upload yours and download others from the online community. Then once you've selected your preset, you can go back to the edit button and see the main page here. So this is the basic layout of Curve. It's a wave shaping synth with a graphical interface at the top, allowing you to have 10 different windows along the left here, where inside each one you can manually draw the different wave shapes like this. You can then later assign these to LFOs and oscillators, as I'll show you later on in this video. As you can see below, there are three oscillators going into filters with assignable macros here and the filter selections underneath and envelope generators under those. Next to this are four LFO units which you can assign to any of the wave pages using this drop down menu here and then change the synchronizations and tempos below. Below the LFO units are controls for pitch bend range, the polyphony, the audio quality and the preset master volume. And then down the bottom here is where you'll find the mapping for the LFO units and envelope generators. So let's say I wanted to make some sounds with some weird modulations. I could start with a new patch by clicking new here. And then I've pre-written a loop here which sounds like this. Then to change the waveform from a default sine wave into something a little more harmonic, I can sharpen the wave here like this. And now it sounds like this. Then if I assign LFO1 to wave page 2, and then click the little magnifying glass next to it here, so I can actually see wave page 2, now all I need to do is find LFO1 down the left hand side of the modulation panel here and then go across to let's say pitch. I can now drag the gain of that upwards like this and you'll notice it pops up with the three different oscillator levels which I can control separately if I want to but it now sounds like this. Now if I assign LFO2 to wave 3, like this, and then set the tempo sync to 1 over 32, then I can switch filter 1 to a 12 dB low pass like this. And then in the modulation panel, I can make LFO2 affect the filter 1 by dragging the slider up like this. And now it sounds like this. So that's really the essentials in getting started with Curve. So I'll finish off now with some parts I've put together using just Curve and a few drum loops.
So that's the basics of curves from Cable Guys, and it's available for Mac and PC via pluginboutique.com now. Cheers, see you soon.